Church, we're going to read uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1. I'm going to read a verse to you, and then let's talk about what God wants to say to us through it. I appeal to you. Let me re read that. I appeal to you by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ to live in harmony with each other. Let there be no divisions in the church, rather be of one mind, united in thought and purpose. All right, so let's clarify that in what we're looking at. We're talking about the church itself, followers of Jesus Christ, the body of Christ itself. So let's live in harmony with each other. Stop nitpicking. Stop seeing faults in everyone around you. Begin to live in harmony. That means that we're not exactly the same, but we can blend. Now, if you know anything about music and you talk about harmony, there's a lead and then there's the other voices that sing the different parts and together they make a beautiful sound of harmony but they're not all doing the exact same thing. So in the body of Christ, there's one agreement. We're all in the same song. It's all about Jesus, right? But then there's harmony in that. So there's a variety of ways people are serving Jesus within that body. And now as we do that, see, there should be no divisions. It's totally fine. Not everybody's a leader. Not everybody should be the lead vocal, so to speak, in this relationship with Jesus but we should all be in harmony. We should all be singing the same song. We should be on the same page and in the same timing. That's harmony and that's how that works. And then he tells us in the word that says that there be no division in the church, rather be of one mind united in thought and purpose. You know, the purpose is all about Jesus. We all know that, right? It's not about me, it's not about you. It's not about our church, Christian Faith Fellowship. It's about Jesus. We are part of his body and we are part of the greater church of Jesus Christ. And we need to see that, understand that, and love the fact that we're a part of that. Let's be who God called us to be, created us to be, and use the gifts that he's given us so that we can work together in harmony as the body of Christ, the undivided church. The enemy always wants to cause division. If you begin to see the people around you in the church and you see division, you need to check yourself. It's all about Jesus. And if it becomes about me or myself or my ideas, we're the one that's wrong. Let's stay focused on him. Harmonize for the glory of God. Let's be the amazing church of Jesus Christ, the one he died to make. God bless you today.